you know, I, I think it's a, a really hard fought game. I'm, I'm excited about the fact that our, we, we battled and, and kept the game kind of manageable. Um, I thought we had a, a, a heart to heart at, at halftime, just with the fact that I thought we just didn't screen well. We weren't helping each other at all get open and, and Stanford's too good a team to, to not really screen them. Uh, they guard, they guard so well. So, um, and then we came out in the second half and just, I thought it was executed so much better. I thought Bella's screening opened up some shots for us and gave us, uh, just put us in a better position. Uh, I thought she had a great second half. Uh, and, you know, it's just unfortunate that we just didn't get enough production from some of our, you know, solid stalwarts. At, but that's what you have to deal with because people are going to, or people are sometimes going to, you know, it's going to be hard to yo to get shots every night. So, just a hard night offensively again, but I'm I'm pretty proud of how our, we competed and how we stayed with it. We're going to open up the floor for questions. We'll go ahead and start with Jamie Vinnick, Duke fan. Go ahead, Jamie. Coach, uh, you know, it just seems that every time we've talked to you after a Stanford game, it's, you know, it's after losing by 30 or losing by 40. And I know you guys are past the point of moral victories, but it, this seems like one of those games where it, you can actually go back and you can look at a couple of plays maybe going one way or the other and suddenly it's a different result. I, I mean, how does that kind of speak to the way your team has been able to grow where, I mean, they lost to this team by 40 down Cameron Brink back in January, 38. To This was a seven-point game on their floor, and you guys are really right in it from wire to wire. They never went up 20. They never just kind of put you guys down. Yeah, I mean, that's – that's I, I think that's what we walk out of here knowing um, we weren't at our best. We have a couple of key players that I think can play better – and can manage that game even better and, and can be more effective. I just think, you know, honestly, I, I mean, I think they're a top five team. I think they're really good. And, and um, you know, teams like that play just – they're taller at every position. They're longer. Length is such an advantage. Uh, it changes Bella's world. You know, just take her, for example. Uh, take a point guard trying to get downhill. I mean, just – it, it, it changes everything when you have that length. And, and honestly, we just don't go against it very much. I just don't think we're, we're, we're real experienced at, at going against that kind of length. Um, you know, and, and sometimes I think our lack of shooting on the perimeter really, um, that's how you could offset that. If you could just drop down more threes or, or keep them honest a little bit more. And we just couldn't do that tonight. But I, I love the fact that we competed. I loved how hard we guarded. I thought we had a great, you know, idea of how to guard them. I thought we got hurt a little bit by some offensive rebounds and sometimes from a guard. I thought Anna Wilson's rebound, uh, offensive rebounds really hurt us. Um, but all in all, what you said is just spot on. We, we you know, this is the time. Yeah, you need you, you need to win, but you need to know you you can compete and you need to know you can manage a game. You need to know that you can uh, weather kind of the punches that some of these teams can can throw at you and, and you're going to respond the right way. And, and I, I thought we did for the most part. And I still think we left a lot of points out there. Uh, I think we have some more in us to be able to, com to to put some more points on the board the next time we play them. You know, you held them to 61 points. Um, if my quick glimpse or quick glance tells me correctly, that's the least they've scored against uh, this program since 2007. This is the closest margin of defeat since 2000. I mean, this is a team that averages 76 a game. And, it, you know, you guys just seem like you really did a good job defensively, forcing them into some tough shots. And, and they hit some tough shots because that's what they do. Yeah. But, you know, it seemed like the defensive intensity was really, really, really strong against the team who, again, back in January scored 82 on you. Yeah, I mean, think about it. I mean, I'd take this any day of the week if we could, if you told me we could hold Stanford to uh, 61, I would think we have a chance to win that game. Uh, we have to depend on that. I think, um, again, if we can get that kind of effort, and, and again, it, I think it shows how good our kids are at scouting and, 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 and playing personnel. And I think we lost a couple of kids a few times, which we're not supposed to do, right? Uh, but I thought we battled as hard as we could to, to keep ourselves in the game defensively. Still not good enough offensively. But, again, I, the beauty of it is I still think we can, we can get better. I think we can show our players the difference between first half and second half and some execution things. And we need to put, you know, two halves together. 
you know, last year when you guys played them, you know, Charlize, I think only ended up with 11 shots over the weekend. They obviously had a big game plan for, and it, it seemed that maybe it was that for the only time that she kind of uh, was a bit of a wide-eyed freshman playing against some of these bigs and just the way they were able to guard her with Brink. And, you know, the two games this year, she ends up scoring, I think, 38 or 37, 35 points, something in there, takes 38 shots. It didn't look like that Stanford was a different animal to her, kind of like they were last year. How much that does that alone – Speak to the way that she has matured as a player and is more aggressive and is more, you know, seasoned than maybe she was a year ago when, again, Stanford seemed to maybe intimidate her a little bit. Well, I think her experiences, too, are, are just like anybody's. You need you need experience uh, going against this kind of length, and um, and you don't see it that much. We, we just don't. I think in, in the women's game, there's just a difference in top seven or eight programs in the country and their size at, at positions – um, and, and I think she, you know, she's a player that takes some hard twos. Um, she just, you know, she can make some of them. And, and sometimes this year and even last year, she missed a few against, uh, Stanford more than we were used to her missing, but I just think experience pays off and, and you get better as you go. And she's a player that wants, is hungry and wants to get better and I think has a chance to, to um, you know, she's going to be very self-aware in what she can do better. We need to be better at putting her in the position to, to make her effective. I thought her two drives and kind of turnaround fadeaways were kind of vintage, like last year, you know, uh, Charlie's Ledger Walker and glad to see she pulled those out. Um, special player. And, and even in that, I think she left some points out there. So uh, we've got some more in us and I think she does, and she's only going to get better as she plays this kind of competition.